truthfulness in sayings and actions. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever-glorious book, It is the one who brings the truth and the one who accepts it as true, who are mindful of Allah. They will have everything they wish for with their Lord. Such, such is the reward of those who do good. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Truthfulness is a noble human value and genuine Islamic morality, which reflects the goodness of one's nature and the perfection of his good manners. Al-Fudayl ibn Iyad said, there is no better adornment for people than truthfulness and seeking what is lawful. When contemplating the book of Allah, one finds that the Almighty Allah has described himself with truthfulness to indicate the high status and honor of truthfulness. The Almighty Allah said, Prophet, say, Allah speaks the truth. In another verse, Allah said, whose word can be truer than Allah's word. Also, when reading the Quran, one realizes that truthfulness and faith are inseparable. Truthfulness is evidence and a manifestation of faith. Therefore, the Almighty Allah commanded believers to be truthful, and He made it clear that the true believers are the truthful ones. As He, glory be to Him, said, you who believe, be mindful of Allah, stand with those who speak the truth. Moreover, truthfulness is an attribute of prophets and messengers. As the Almighty Allah said, mention in the Quran, the story of Abraham. He was a man of truth, a prophet. Allah also described prophet Ishmael as mentioned too in the Quran, the story of Ishmael. He was true to his promise, a messenger and a prophet, and said about Prophet Idris. Mentioned too in the Quran, the story of Idris, he was a man of truth, a prophet. Regarding Prophet Muhammad, Allah said, he does not speak from his own desire. It is only a revelation sent down to him. A true Muslim realizes that a word he pronounces is a trust, so he adheres to the truth in all his sayings, whether they are heard, seen, or written. He seeks the reward and blessing of Allah in this world, and paradise in the hereafter. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, both parties in a business transaction have a right to annul it, so long as they have not separated. And if they tell the truth and make everything clear to each other, they will be blessed in their transaction. But if they conceal anything and lie, the blessing on their transaction will be eliminated. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, there are four qualities such that if you were to be given them, you will not be harmed even if the world were to be taken away from you. They are good character, restraint in food, truthful speech, and upholding a trust. Also, when the Prophet's wife, Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her, wanted to reassure our Prophet, peace be upon him, after the revelation had descended upon him, she described him as being truthful, saying, Never, by Allah, Allah will never disgrace you. You keep good relations with your relatives, speak the truth, help the poor and the destitute, serve your guests generously and assist the deserving calamity and afflicted ones. The Almighty Allah said in the Quran, Allah will say, this is a day when the truthful will benefit from their truthfulness. They will have gardens graced with, with flowing streams there to remain forever. Allah is pleased with them and they, and they with him. That is the supreme triumph. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Truth leads to piety, 
and piety leads to paradise. A man persists in speaking the truth till he is enrolled with Allah as a truthful. Falsehood leads to vice, and vice leads to the hellfire, and a person persists in telling lies until he is enrolled as a liar. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that when the light of truth shines in the heart, a person becomes truthful in his deeds, as he is truthful in his sayings. Allah, glory be to him, said, Believers, be mindful of Allah, speak in a direct manner and a good purpose, and he will put your deeds right for you and forgive you your sins. Whoever obeys Allah and his messenger will truly achieve a great triumph. Honest work is the one which is free from deception, cheating, or hypocrisy, and that which is performed by seeking what is lawful, avoiding what is forbidden, fulfilling promises and trusts. As the Almighty Allah said, you who believe fulfill your obligations, and said, Allah commands you people to return things entrusted to you to their rightful owners. The Prophet, peace be upon him, considered the opposite attributes as signs of hypocrisy when he said, Four are the qualities which, when found in a person, make him a full hypocrite, and one who possesses one of them possesses one characteristic of hypocrisy until he abandons it. These are, when he is entrusted with something, he betrays trust. When he speaks, he lies. When he promises, he acts treacherously. And when he argues, he behaves in a very imprudent, insulting manner. Truthfulness in action requires the perfection of one's work, because the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah loves someone who, when works, he performs it in perfect manner. Moreover, we affirm that a person who is truthful in his sayings and deeds has pure nature. He becomes close to and friendly with others. He does not cheat in transactions, deceive in dealings, or trade on people's crises. By this, he gets inner peace, heart tranquility, and societal happiness. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Truthfulness is peace of mind, and falsehood is doubt. Ali ibn Abi Talib said, He who does three things with people will get three things from them. When he speaks the truth, does not betray their trusts, and fulfills his promises, they will love him by their hearts, gets praising from them, and they will help him. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world. Thank you.